What is up YouTube? I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you all how to remove the profile on iOS 13. I'm doing a new feature now where I don't do the mic on with screen recording. I'm trying out some new stuff, but you know, let me know how y'all do how y'all like this. It causes me more to edit, but you know what? That's part of living the YouTube life. You're going to have to do some editing from time to time and whatever else. Hear any noises? It's probably either my battery charger for my batteries because I'm charging some batteries and whatever else so also I am going to include voiceover which I will turn on voiceover on the iPad mini 4 you'll hear it voiceover on landscape FaceTime it is on my left or wherever you're sitting it should be on your left side but it's actually because I'm recording it on the iPad Pro and getting the stereo audio and then rolling it over to the iPad Rolling it on top of the screen recording or whatever, whatever. So I'm gonna go into settings. Settings. Selected. Select general. general. Selected. General. And then I'm gonna go to software update. But in progress. Automatic update. <coughs> Off. iPad. Your software. iPad OS 13.1. All right. You may be thinking, why are you just showing this on the iPad? I will show it on the iPhone down the road. I'll be making a video for the iPhone. But for the iPads, iPad OS 13.1 is coming out this week, literally tomorrow. I'm recording this on Monday. It'll be out on Monday, the current date. This is current day, but it'll be out on Tuesday, September 24th. That's when Apple really, they confirmed it. They pushed it back from the 30th to the 24th now, where iPad OS 13.1 will be released alongside iOS 13.1. Some things that they had to kick out of iOS 13.0, they're bringing to iOS 13.1. But, so that leaves that there. And I'm going to say, if you're on the beta already, if you're on the beta and you want to update to iOS 13.1 when it releases, some devices will get the actual final release update. But in case of Apple brings out iOS 13.2 or iOS 13.1.1, which I don't think they would do, they do 13.2. I hope they don't. I hope they take a break for a little while, like maybe a two week or three week break. But if they, if they turn around and release another beta right on the heels of this release, and you want to get off the beta train right away, you want to go in first back out of setting. General. Back general. out of software back update and go back to general. general. Software update button keyboard. You want to go link all dictionary. the way down VP. to legal and regular reset Le VPN dictionary. All button. right. So my profiles and device man, my profiles are not there because I removed it because I was trying to make other clips of the video. So you want to go down to where you see profiles. Go into profiles and you hit. Then you go into the iOS 13 and iPad OS 13 beta. You want to go in there and remove that profile. And then restart your device, and then iOS 13 or iOS 13.1 or iPadOS 13.1 final release should populate on your device tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern. Or not 10 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. This is a video on how to remove the profiles. I already removed my profile. So hopefully I explained this as good as possible. Thank you all for watching and peace.